Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another Wee Wee and if you're new to my channel, Wee Wee stands for Will I Wear It and it's a review segment that I do here on this channel. So I've seen a lot of individual reviews on the products that I'm about to review today but I've never seen anything that tells you if I like like matte lipsticks which one should I buy or if I like more creamy lipsticks which one should I buy. So today I'm just going to put all of them together and review the three Nykaa lipsticks. I started off as an Indian website that just sold makeup but now they have their own range of products and these three lipsticks are part of their range of products. So today I'm going to review the Nykaa Matte Delicious Lip Crayon, the Nykaa So Matte Lipstick, that's this one, and the Nykaa Paint Sticks. So if you want to see which products you might like and will I actually wear them, then let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this entire review into different parts like I always do in my weebies and today we're going to review these based on packaging, colour, pigment, texture and staying power. So first I'm going to review the Nykaa So Matte Lipsticks. These were the first ones Nykaa launched and they even started their entire range with these lipsticks. These are priced at Rs. 3.99 and they have tons of different shades. I think they have about 8 shades in just the nude category and then they have 20 shades apart from that. I have the shade number 12M that's Taupe Thrill. Now based on colours, I'm sure they have a fantastic range of colours but I don't like when companies do these things. They always say like different names for different colours like this one's called Taupe Thrill but it's so warm and taupe as a colour is so cool tone. So when I did buy it and even in the swatches it looked a little off but this is super super warm as you can see right now. This looks like really warm brownish red but it's definitely not taupe. Now to start off with the packaging on these, I was so impressed, I even ranted about it on Snapchat saying I am so impressed that Indian companies are upping their packaging game. Firstly, this is super super glossy and I love it and how it contrasts with the super matte packaging on the product. It comes in this super cool matte black packaging, it is block shaped and it has Nykaa in the silver metallics. I love this packaging the most for one amazing reason is that it is magnetic so if I leave it it just automatically magnetically clips back and I haven't seen this on any other products except the NARS packaging and I'm just going to show that to you this is the NARS packaging so this is NARS's matte packaging it's not as matte as the Nykaa packaging and it has NARS written in the more glossy font and this also has that magnetic clip on cap NARS as a company is so luxurious and their products are so expensive but with this being priced at Rs 3.99 and seeing this kind of packaging I am so impressed. Next with the texture of these I'm sure you can see on my lips right now I can already tell that with the light hitting it is not matte. It is more creamy matte if you can say that but if these are called so matte it's not so matte it's just maybe so so matte. These aren't drying whatsoever, they feel so comfortable on my lips and they are absolutely insanely moisturizing. They glide on so smoothly like even right now I just want to keep going ahead and applying more layers and even if I go in like with two or three or four coats I don't think it's going to make any difference. My lips are not going to chap, they're not going to feel like drying, it's not going to go and like settle into all the cracks because these are so 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 smooth and they have absolutely no like drying pigment in it. So talking about pigment, the pigment on this is great. It's obviously not as amazing as the Matte Delicious Lip Crayons which we will talk about later on in the video but these are really opaque. They go on really really pigmented and they do feel very richly pigmented even though you swatch it on your hand sometimes and then the lipsticks when you put them on your lips because pigment on our lips plays a really big role they don't swatch the same that's not a problem with these lipsticks when I swatch it on my hand and I swatch it on my lips they feel just the same as well as they look really opaque on both swatches and the staying power on these is quite good it's almost like a normal lipstick that's creamy matte and it will stay on me for about three to four hours while I eat food in that time also, I just love playing with this magnetic thing. I'm so fascinated. I'm like a child. So the next lipstick I'm going to review is the Nykaa Paint Sticks. Now these are one of their newest additions to their range and also one of their newest formulas. These retail for piece 425. They have about 12 different shades and I have the shade number 01 in Nude Spice. For the packaging of these, I love that these are color coded. So the entire 
entire cap, the one that comes off, is entirely color coded with the color that you're actually getting inside the product. It's super plasticky and quite flimsy. This is my least favorite packaging out of all their different packaging. Even though these are less expensive than the paint sticks, they still have such fantastic packaging and I was really unimpressed by the packaging on these because they feel like if you drop them once, I feel like they might just break. I feel like even the turning cap thing and the product inside does not really stick and it wobbles a lot. Maybe this is just a defect in the product I got and maybe all of them do not wobble like this but mine does and I'm super scared that it's gonna break. It's also not a typical bullet type lipstick, it is a more taper flat end type lipstick. I really like that they've stuck to the matte packaging for all their products but I really wish the Nykaa was written in the silver metallics that really would have elevated it and made it look very very similar to all their other packaging. Because I love the colour coding on the cap and all, I really wish this packaging would have been slightly better. Now the texture on this is so smooth, it is infused with butter and it is so 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 buttery and smooth and it is really really creamy. This feels so comfortable to wear on your lips and it is one of the most moisturizing lipsticks I have worn at least in the Indian market and they are absolutely fantastic feeling on your lips. I feel like you have absolutely nothing on your lips at all. They may be super creamy and all of that but the fact that they don't look super glossy is something that I really really like. These feel slightly sticky after a while and I don't know why that happens or maybe it's just me but for me that does happen. These feel so soft and smooth and I know soft is not like a great word to use for a lipstick but when I like put these on they feel so soft and cushiony. I just want to wear them like all day. These would compare really well to matte satin lipsticks and if you're wondering about the so matte these are fantastic dupes for the max amplified lip creams. These look identical to the MAC Lip Intensity lipsticks but they are slightly more flimsy than the packaging on those and I feel like since packaging is my only issue with this right now I might just complain about it for the time that I have this lipstick. The pigmentation on these is good but it's not as good as the So Mattes and you might have to go in with another layer especially if you have pigment on your lips like I do. These might be one swipe intensity colours for the more darker shades but for the nuder shades I think you might have to go in with two coats. Even with two coats these are not patchy whatsoever so like I when I put this lipstick on I went with two coats and even with a third right in the centre of my bottom lip because I have a lot of pigmentation there but these do not feel patchy, they do not feel crumbly, they still feel very very comfortable. So these are quite pigmented and opaque and the staying power on these will be about 3-4 to four hours with food. So the next one that I'm going to review is called the Nykaa Matelicious Lip Crayon. This one comes in 4 different shades and I have the shade Next Level Nude. This one retails for 650 rupees. So first I'm going to review the packaging of this product. This one is a lip crayon. So it does look like a tubular lip pencil and when you open it, it looks like a crayon with like a dome tip. What I love about the packaging of this is it also matches all the other products that they have with the whole matte packaging even though the products are sometimes not matte I like that they have this sleek black matte packaging with the silver metallic Nykaa written on it. Also what I love about this is if I have to put it this way I know exactly what color I'm using because the bottom of the lip crayon so this is the lip crayon and the bottom of it has the color on it. I love that these are color coded like this. Also this is quite thick and sturdy so it's not like really flimsy and even the cap is quite sturdy so if you're going to drop it I don't think you should ideally harm what's inside. Next we're going to talk about the texture of this product. It is so 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 smooth but like it says it is matte delicious and it's so powder matte so it wears almost like a lipstick. You feel like you're wearing a lipstick but it looks like a liquid lipstick. This will fall into the powder matte lipstick category and it will feel really comfortable on your lips for a while but after a while I've noticed that this will start feeling a little bit drying on your lips. So next we're just going to talk about the pigment of this product. I find that this one is one of the most pigmented out of all the lipstick range. It is super high intensity color. You just need one stroke and it is so opaque and pigmented that it will absolutely cover everything even if you have pigmented lips because I have a lot of richly pigmented lips so you know I have a little bit of darkness on my lips as well but it covers everything up in just one swipe. These are super full coverage but even though they transfer a little bit their staying power is so good. They last about 6 hours on me and every time I talk about staying power I have to mention that I talk about staying power while eating food so this is six hours while I have eaten food during that time now the question is will I wear it the answer is yes I will wear all three but which one I'll wear the most you'll have to wait and see
that rhymed. Since I reviewed all three products, I just want to mention that if you're someone who likes really matte lipsticks, you're going to love the Matalicious Lip Crayon. If you're someone who loves the creamy formula, doesn't want to like go ahead and have too much like opaque intense colors on your lips and you want to wear lipstick for the entire day, then the Paint Sticks are your option. And if you're someone who loves like the whole pigmented lips and you want to have a range of different colors and you're also comfortable with the more intense colors as well as the more creamy matte finish then the so mattes are your lipsticks if i'm gonna compare these on price the so mattes are my most favorite this one is so worth 400 rupees the packaging is fantastic the colors are endless you can choose like literally there is a color for everyone out there and you're gonna get worth of every single rupee you put into it now based on packaging once again the so mattes are my favorite now they are really bulky and blockish but i love it because of the whole magnetic packaging it feels really luxurious especially the black matte so based on texture the nika paint sticks is my favorite this one is infused with butter and it has such amazing moisturizing qualities that this feels so comfortable on my lips for pigment, I'm going to select the Matalicious Lip Crayon. This is my favorite because it is so, so, so pigmented. It is also really matte and it almost feels like a liquid lipstick. So the color payoff on this is fantastic. And finally for staying power, just like I said, since this stays on almost like a liquid lipstick, I'm going to select this for staying power because it does stay on me for over six hours. And this is absolutely amazing for any lipstick to achieve. So that's it for the review on these three products today. I love doing these weavies on my channel because it really gives me a good excuse to buy more products and I really want to just buy things for you guys and let you know in a different way. Like today I reviewed all these three just keeping in mind that what if you're someone who doesn't like really matte lipsticks then you don't want an individual review on something that's matte. So maybe if you just look through all the lipsticks that are available you know which one's your type. If you guys enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up you can also comment down below tell me what you want to see next whether it's a makeup tutorial or another review like this or even if you want to see something more specific like a how to on how to apply liquid lipstick or how to like highlight and contour or anything like that i'd really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to my channel before you leave you can also click on the notification bell that way you know every time i post a video and you never miss an update don't forget to follow me on my social medias it's we make up life on instagram and twitter and at the rate tina tanger on snapchat i post tons of snapchats and every time i buy new products like this they're always up on snapchat first so don't forget to follow me there see you next time bye That's not a real tattoo.